Hello everyone, Nap1995 here in the video game fanfiction plot with a new chapter for you all in Rock of Steel and remember I do not own the Transformers Prime series or this story I give full credit to its author by Haley Moss on Wattpad. Chapter 6 Deus Ex Machina LPOV I woke up to my alarm going off. I slammed it off with it also hitting the floor. Thank goodness I feel better today but I'm deaf not in the mood to be messed around fault with. I walked into my bathroom and straightened my hair and put makeup on. I walked to my closet and put on some regular blue jeans, a red fitted shirt and my gray pumas. I grabbed my backpack and went downstairs. I walked to the kitchen and got out some bottle orange juice and two fruit bars. My co let's go girl, I know you're up there. I yelled up. I knew she was up there from her slash monkey going off. I shook my head and went out the door. I walked over to Magnus and climbed into the passenger seat. Good morning Magnus. Good morning Ella. Magnus said. We drove to school not really talking about anything. We pulled up at school and I got out and waved bye to Magnus. I had just walked up the steps when I saw Vince the school bully push Raph onto the ground. Someone has to give him a taste of his own medicine, and it's gonna be me Ella Blaze. I walked right up to Vince and pushed him. He stumbled and Vince said Ella what is your problem? You're my problem I've had enough of your shina jeegans, enough is enough especially when you mess with my friends. I told him. Men on beautiful let's lose these losers. He wrapped his arms around my weight. Ugh disgusting. I punched him in his right eye, he was holding his eye looking pretty angry. I checked to make sure Raph was alright and when I went to turn back to Vince he punched me in the face. Pain spread from my cheek to my jaw. I turned back to Vince and kicked him right where the sun don't shine. Then I punched him in the nose, caused blood to spurt on him and my hand. Hey, hey stop that. The principal said to us both. She started it sir. Vince tried to act all innocent. What it was. Hush Vince I know about your bullying. You have detention today after school. The principal told Vince. Although I know you were protecting your friend, but I have to give you detention today too for fighting Miss Blaze. He told me. I understand, I will be there. I told him. I walked into the school with Raph. Are you okay Raph? I asked him. Yeah I am, I can't believe you stood up to him, no one stands up to him. And you got into an actual fight with him. I wish I was as brave as you. Raph said as his head dropped low of the last sentence. Listen, he der served it. If you ever have trouble from him again just let me know. And you are brave Raph you just have to find it within yourself, and you will. I told him. He smiled. Hey would you tell the teach I may be late I am gonna go clean off my hand. I asked him. He nodded and waved into our first tower classroom. I walked into the girl's bathroom and washed my hands. I was washing off the blood from Vince's nose when I noticed I had cut open my hand when I punched him. I must have punched him really hard since not all the blood was Vince's. I also looked up to my right side of my face. I had a purple bruise forming. Great now I'm gonna have to tell mom and dad I got into a fight. I think my dad will proud of me that I stood up to a bully and kicked his butt. Who need I could be so bad eh? I finished up into the bathroom and went to class. School passed by quickly. I walked into the classroom that held detention and sat right beside my go. Dude what are you doing here you never get detention? She asked. So you haven't heard yet? I asked her. Heard what? She asked confused. I got into a fist fight with Vince after he pushed Traff down and I got detention for it. I told her. Holy monkey you actually stood up to Vince? That's so bad eh dude. She said. I thought so too. Hey yeah now let's be quiet so I can get out of here quicker. I told her. I was finishing up the last of my homework when I saw Michael sneak out of detention. If she would just stay in detention she wouldn't get even more. I saw the teacher get up and follow after her. Before the teacher could reach Michael I saw Bulkhead. I didn't see Magnus out there so I could calm him when I got out and or I could just walk home. I don't have to go to base today I guess. You are dismissed from detention. The teacher said. I grabbed up my stuff and went outside. 
I was fixing to pull out my phone to calm Magnus but he pulled up right beside me. I climbed into the passenger seat and set my bag on the ground. Hi Mangus. I told him. Hi Ella why are you so late and what happened to your face and hand? He asked a little angry sounding. I had detention today because I got into a fist fight with a bully at school. The bully was being mean to rough and pushed him down. I want just going to stand by and let the bully do that to one of my friends. So if you're going to lecture me about fighting I don't want to hear it, because it was the right thing to do. I told him. I am proud that you stood up for what you believed in and I don't want you to get into fights you could get seriously hurt. So I guess this bully he or she likes to pick on everyone? Magnus asked. Yeah he does, especially Raph because he's so small and smart. I told him. The bully is a mech? A mech hit you? No mech should hit a femme. Magnus exclaimed. Yes he is, and I know I don't like it either but he started it by pushing down Raph and I was dang well going to finish it. I told him. At least I know that you can defend yourself. Magnus said. I plugged my iPod into Magnus Radio and turned on Anaconda by Nicki Menja. My Anaconda don't! My Anaconda don't! My Anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hun! What is an Anaconda? Magnus asked. Awkward subject again. An Anaconda is a really large snake, but in the song it's talking about a guy's private parts as in his dick. What do you all call ya alls? I said and then asked. For Mex it's called a interfacing cable, for Fem it's called a interfacing unit. Magnus said. I know it's probably a weird subject but I would like to know more about this interfacing and how it works and how y'all produces babies. If you don't mind? I asked. Well that would be something that you would have to ask Ratchet he would be better equipped for that. Mangus said. Okay I guess I can ask Ratchet. We arrived at the base in time for Bulkhead to say not jail. Oh Michael what did you now? Jack asked. I escaped detention. Michael said. Well Ella what happened to your face and hand? Jack asked. I can't believe you haven't heard yet, although you are the last one to find out everything ha ha. I told Jack. He just grumbled. Ella kicked Vince's aft. Michael said. Michael where did you learn that word? Ratchet yelled. Outer space? Michael said. So Ratchet I gotta ask you some questions. I told Ratchet. I walked over to him and he let his hand down to the ground so I could climb on. He then put me onto his shoulder. Ella what hand to your hand and face? Ratchet asked. I got into a fist fight with a bully at school named Vince, he was being mean to Ruff and I weren't going to let him get away with it anymore. I told Ratchet HMMPH he said and mumbled something along the lines, Max Sheldon hit Femmes. At least he cared. So Ratchet how do you all interface and make babies? I asked him. His head spun with wide eyes to me and looked at me as if I had grew two heads. Where did you learn that from? He asked. I told him about the convo that Magnus and I had on the way here. My sea wheel interfacing is what sex is to you humans except it's usually only meant to happen with one spark mate. During the process of Femi and Mech open up their chest plated where their spark is located and they spark merge making them spark mates forever until they die. You can choose a different mate if you want but it will never be whole like your other spark mate. You know when you have found them because their spark starts to pull towards them. Ratchet said. Interesting. I wonder if a Cybertronian can fall in love with a human? Why am I asking that? Oh well. I'm getting a strong inner gone reading in a place called Greece. Ratchet said. A Greek I love that can I go with? I asked. Sure Ella, Maiko you can come too. Bulkhead said. Sweet. Maiko said as she fist pumped the air. Bulkhead transformed, Maiko got into the driver's seat. Bye Magnus see you later. Don't have too much fun without me. Ah ha ha as if. Although we did have fun playing paintball. I hopped into the passenger seat. Then we went through the swirling green vortex. When we arrived you could see temples, statues, walls with amazing paintings on them. Maiko took a picture of something I want paying attention to her or bulkhead as I was too engrossed in all things Greek. I love reading Greek mythology.
Yeah, and even dumber than he looks. I heard someone say. I looked towards who said it, and it was another giant bot the size of Bulkhead, but he wore the Decepticon in Sigma. Great. All look you have pets too. Do they play fetch? The con said. He then threw a pillar at Myko and I. We couldn't get out of the way fast enough, but Bulkhead knocked it out from hitting us. Myko, Ella run and hide. Bulkhead said. Myko and I hide by the rock paintings. Bulkhead and the con started to fight then the con got the upper hand threw Bulkhead into the painting. Bulkhead are you alright? Myko asked. Yeah I am fine. Bulkhead said. Don't worry Bulkhead I got a picture of the picture. Myko said. We headed back through ground bridge where everyone was in the main hangar. It's an Intergon harvester, in the wrong hands it could be very dangerous. Optimus said. So basically it just sucks the blood out of you like a vampire? Myko asked. I face bombed myself. Yes Myko it drains us of our inner gone. Optimus said. Optimus you know what a vampire is? I asked. Yes was all he said. Anyone can find it by looking it up on the internet, see it's in a museum. Ref said. Then we must contact Agent Fowler he is our best option. Optimus said. Ratchet called Agent Fowler but no answer. Colin, uh, I hate talking to machines. Ratchet said. What about us? A museum and an Autobot doesn't really mix Wheeljack said. I didn't like this plan one bit but since Agent Fowler was not answering I guess we have to do it. Well all grounded bridge to the museum, us inside. Optimus was right outside in front of us when I saw two cons come right at him. One electrocuted him in the neck and the other was coming to hit him straight on. When Bulkhead rammed into the bigger one that we saw earlier. B and RC had collided into each other before that. I didn't see where Magnus was cause we were headed to where we would meet the ground bridge. Then the door started open up, I was holding the harvester in place, it was heavy. We saw skinny legs of an bot. RC. Jack said. Oh no it's sound wave. Ref said. I was still holding on to the harvester and said you want this you're gonna have to take me from it. I told this sound well that's the ending of that chapter, I do hope you enjoy this video if you like to see more remember, to hit that like button subscribe to this channel and leave a comment down below until next time.